everyone, so today I am so excited because we are doing part two of my Halloween decor haul. And today we are covering Home Goods, Michaels, Joann's, a bunch of different places. So I'm not gonna drag on this intro any longer. Let's get into it. The first place I'm gonna start with, I didn't even mention in the intro, um, but it's Lakeside Collection because I've got a big blanket sitting at my feet right now that I kinda wanna move out of the way so I can get the other decorations kinda moved towards the center. So we're gonna start there. So I ended up, if you watched my Halloween decor wish list, where else did I mention it? I think it was in one of the really early Halloween decor hunting videos, I think. Um, but I ended up getting the Nevermore bed set, which I can't even show how big this blanket is because it's a king size, but I'll show a picture and also you'll see it in my Halloween decorating. I'm gonna be doing a series again this year, so you'll see it in one of the videos. So it's this whole Nevermore Edgar Allan Poe inspired bed set and there's a whole quilt that comes with it. You also get the shams, I can show you these. You get the shams with the skull and the pumpkin and the and the raven. And then you also get a throw pillow that comes with it. And I'm so excited about this because last year I got some Halloween sheets and now I have a full on Halloween bed set. All right, so anyways, that's what I got from Lakeside Collection, this really cute bed set. All right, next up, should I do home goods finally? I feel like maybe I should. And I feel like I should maybe start with this piece because it is one that I had been looking for for months, but somebody sent an early birthday present and I have to show you. It is the Headless Horseman, he is here. Priscilla, if you are out there watching, Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I cannot thank you enough for such a generous birthday gift and for sending this my way as the ultimate birthday surprise. Thank you so much. And it is so much bigger than the one that I broke. So this size actually looks much better on my mantle. And if you missed the whole backstory, basically I had a headless horseman that looked like this. It fell off of my mantle. It was a tragedy. It's our favorite piece. Just for all year round, we had our headless horseman out on our mantle and I was crushed when it broke. So I am so excited to have another Headless Horseman in this one. It's even better and bigger and fits perfectly on the mantle and I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Priscilla. You have no idea how much this means to me and my husband. And thank you to everyone out there who sent DMs and messages and tried to help me find the Headless Horseman and I didn't even get to all the messages so if I didn't get a chance to get to your message, I'm really sorry. Y'all were really helping me out there. I really appreciate it, so thank you so much. Priscilla, thank you so much for sending it my way. I'm also so excited for those of you out there who got one yourselves and are loving your Headless Horseman. It makes me so excited. Anyways, now I'm just rambling, but I'm so excited. And if you know, you know I've been looking for this for so long. And thank you guys. Thank you, Priscilla. Thank you, everybody. I'm just so excited I'm in the best mood ever. Okay, anyways. Moving on. Next up, these are actually one of the first things I got from Home Goods. I got these spider, they're like tarantula candle holders, essentially. I didn't know if I liked the speckling, like the silver and black speckling. I have a lot of silver and black in my house, but in my mind, I thought these would look way better matte black. So I figured if I really wanted a matte black, I could just spray paint them. Um, but for now, I'm gonna leave them like this. But it is just a candlestick holder or pedestal with these tarantulas that are all the way around. But anyways, love these, so excited about these. Next up from Home Goods, I got a bunch of kitchen slash bath towels. The first from Home Goods, I'm gonna talk, these are bath towels. Um, I found these Ray Dunn bath towels that have a witch hat embroidered into the towel and then it says Wicked. I like some of the Ray Dunn and then there's some Ray Dunn that I'm not crazy about, but this is one of them that I'm really into. I love this little bath towel. I think it's so cute. So those are the only bath towels I got. These are technically kitchen towels, also from Home Goods. They are, it is this orange towel with all these black baths all over it. And this is so cute. This is like right up my alley. Also got this one, love these as well. Oh gosh, the Cynthia Rowley ones are always so soft and just like thick and amazing. Okay, got this one. This is kind of a cool vintage look where it has this spiderweb design and then these vintage looking jack-o'-lanterns all over it. 
love these kitchen towels. Also for kitchen towels, I got this set here, which is just a simple black and white spider web print set. These are really soft, really nice. They're not quite as thick as the Cynthia Rowley ones or Raleigh or whatever, but they're still really cool and I love the print, just really simple. Great for an everyday goth decor, if you want my honest opinion. Uh, all right, so the next kitchen towel set I got from Home Goods. I'm so excited about this one. It is this Nightmare Before Christmas black and white kind of sketch looking print. It's got all the different characters, the mayor, it's got Jack Skellington, it's got the boogeyman, it's got everybody on here. And I love that this is subtle, but still in your face Nightmare Before Christmas. So it's like a really good balance. I love it so much. Also, I got this one. I don't know if this was part of Halloween. I know astrology to me at least is not Halloween, but I know a lot of people put out astrology things during Halloween season. So found this little Libra towel set, kitchen towel set that has the scales. It says Libra. It says a little bit about the Libra on it. And it's just a really nice, soft, thick towel. And I love it. Next up from Home Goods, this might be one of my favorite. I actually got two of them. This might be one of my favorite pieces that I got this year. I was so excited to find these because I've been looking for a throw pillow and, ha and really just didn't find anything that stood out to me until I saw this. And it is this spooky house throw pillow. It looks like a straight up Dracula castle with bats and just a whole spooky house situation. If you've been around here for a while, then you know I'm a sucker for either a witch silhouette or a spooky house, spooky scenery. And I loved this pillow because it's like this really gothic looking Dracula castle with bats and it's black and white. But you know I'll be leaving these out all year round because I love this kind of all year round kind of spooky gothic decor. This is the perfect find. I was so excited about it. All right, next up while we're on the topic of Dracula, I figured I'd show you this. We saw this Halloween decor hunting not that long ago. It's a matte black candelabra with all of these skulls on it. There's a skull kind of at the base area, then there's skulls at each one of the little candlestick holder areas and then the rest of it is just this kind of gothic intricate design this is exactly what i had in mind when i thought of my dracula table so that's my plan for this candelabra but i love this thing next up i got some more of the spooky book container thing so i got this one the witch's potions book I love how gothic this one looks. Has like this looking like like wallpaper design almost on it and then a spider. And then on the inside, it's just an empty container. Also got this one, this larger one. It says Halloween, it has like a really cool border frame situation. And then it has this vintage looking pumpkin with this black cat that's kind of draped over it and it says Halloween. And then it once again is a little container on the inside. Last little book I got, but this one I loved because it looks so magical and mystical. This one says Witch's Handbook and it has this vintage looking witch with a jack-o'-lantern and a moon and a black cat and all these bats flying up. And I love this whole vibe because all of these faces on the jack-o'-lantern and the moon, they're all so creepy. And when I say creepy, I mean it in the best way ever. It's like just this, I don't know, it's kind of like this eerie feeling with these like realistic faces on these moons and pumpkins and even the cat looks a little, I mean, it's just so eerie to me and I love every minute of it. All right, next up from Home Goods, I got this little matte black skull soap dispenser. But I was really excited to see this because I haven't seen a lot of bathroom stuff or potential bathroom stuff this year. And I was really excited because I love anything that's kind of a matte black, anything that could be used all year round. Next up from Home Goods, I got this little vintage looking pumpkin and cat situation. And the pumpkin says happy Halloween. And this little cute black cat is kind of 
just lounging or leaning on the pumpkin a little bit. I just love the whole idea of this little cat leaning on the pumpkin and overall just like that it's kind of just this old school vibe. Next up from Home Goods, I got some spooky mugs and I love Home Goods has my favorite spooky mugs every single year. So the first spooky mug I got from Home Goods is this kind of taller mug with all of these jack-o-lantern faces and this guy with the teeth just cracks me up. I love this. I love all the jack-o-lanterns and then the inside is orange. Love this. I also got this one still has a tag on it but I also got this orange spooky mug with all these little black bats flying everywhere and black stars everywhere and then the inside of the mug has a bat little print on the side like on the lip this might be one of my favorites this year the next spooky mug I got from home goods is this black spooky mug with all of these white skulls all around it I love this one. I love that it's black and white. Goes though with my black cabinets and my white countertops. I love everything about it. And then on the inside, there's a pop of orange. So the next spooky mug I got from Home Goods is this one. I have not seen anything like this at Home Goods before. It is this white spooky mug with this whole mystical, magical design on it. It's got this skull. It's almost though in a crystal ball. And then it has all these moons and stars and all these little, like I said, mystical, magical designs all over it. And then on the inside, on the lip, there's a little mystical, magical design there. I love everything about this mug. All right, next spooky mug I got from Home Goods. We saw this one early on, perhaps one of the first ones we saw. It is this Ray Dunn cauldron mug. It's just a mug and the shape of a cauldron and it says boo on it. I love this little cauldron mug. This is one of my, once again, I said this about all the freaking mugs, but I love mugs. So this was again, one of my favorites. Next up from Home Goods, I got another spooky throw pillow. They had some really good ones this year, I thought. Uh, but this one, I fell in love with the moment I saw it. It is this black throw pillow with all of these ghosts all over it. It is so cute. It's black and white, which I love. It's almost got this like sweatshirt feeling material, almost like a jersey feel. It is so soft, so comfortable. I love this pillow. And this once again could be an all year round thing for me because I have a love for the paranormal. So I feel like this could definitely feed that fantasy. <laughs> Next up from Home Goods, I'm so excited about this. I talked a little bit about it in one of the Halloween decor hunting videos. It is this Nordic Ware Haunted Skull Cake Lip Pan. And I have been wanting one of these for so long because when I did my spooky snacks video where I did the tombstones, I really wanted to do the skulls, but this thing was $33 and I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it. I mean, I almost did it and I probably would have eventually done it, but I'm glad I waited because this thing was $16.99. So it's a steal of a deal, but it is just this little cake lip pan or you can make little, um, like I made the pizza pockets in this kind of thing and it's got skulls. So your cakes or whatever it is come out in a skull design. So I totally understand now why it was $33 because it's actually worth it. It really is a heavy duty pan, but for $16.99, I couldn't like, I don't know. I just, I'm one of those people that feels proud when I get a deal on something. <laughs> I don't know if you guys feel that way too, but I'm like so proud of myself right now. I'm like, oh, you really got half apple. Also from Home Goods, I got this spooky blanket and let me tell you, it was difficult to find spooky blankets this year at Home Goods. They were snatched up so quickly or they just didn't get a big stock. But I found this one and it is so cute. It is this gray spooky blanket and it has all these little cute things on it like this little skull and then it has a and then it has a ghost and some spider webs and candy corns and bones and bats. It says boo. It basically has everything spooky on it that you can imagine. Anyways, I love this and I'm so excited that I actually found a blanket at Home Goods because their blankets are much larger than some of the other places. So I'm so excited I got my hands on a blanket. Next up from Home Goods, I got this spatula set. It's a Ray Dunn spatula and cutter set, cookie cutter set. So it has two spatulas. One spatula is black and it says magic spells. And the other spatula is white and it says bewitched. The two cookie cutters it comes with, it comes with a witch hat. And then my favorite, which is this witch 
flying on a broom, which you know is my favorite. I can't wait to make some witchy cookies. Should we do it during Vlogtober? I feel like we should. I don't know how it's gonna go because this design looks way more advanced than my cookie cutter skills, but we could definitely give it a try. <laughs> right, while we're on the topic of the spooky kitchen, I got a couple of things for the spooky kitchen. Um, I guess I should have mentioned this with the kitchen towels, but we're all out of order. We're mixing it up. Got these little mini oven mitts with these black bats all over them. They'll go perfect with my little spider web design. Uh, what am I thinking of? Apron, it will go perfect with that. Also got two different aprons. They had some really cute spooky aprons this year. So the first apron I got from Home Goods is this Nightmare Before Christmas apron that matches the towel set. And it has the Nightmare Before Christmas print that almost looks like a sketch all over it and I love this little spooky apron so much I cannot wait to wear it. The other apron I got is this, uh, it's like a black apron with white skulls and bones all over it. It has a little pocket in the front, which I love, but I'm excited to have some other spooky apron options for my videos. So I'm so excited about these. Okay, next up from home, we got a lot from Home Goods. maybe we went a little overboard, do you think? got these little vintage looking jack-o'-lantern clown head things on a pedestal. Um, uh, I love these so much. The second I saw these, I was like, I need two of these because I'm either gonna put them on my mantle for my jack-o'-lantern theme or I'm gonna have to put them on either side of my sink uh, in my kitchen because I love these guys. You'll see them in the decorating video for sure. So excited about these. Next up from Home Goods, I am so excited about this. If you're watching my Halloween decor hunting videos once again, this is one that I had to give away early. Like I kind of had to show a little bit, of, like show you what I got just to kind of explain it to you because I didn't get a good uh, view at the store of it. So some of you have already seen this. But I have to show it again just in case you're new here or you don't really watch the Halloween decor hunting videos. I got this Ray Dunn cauldron cookie jar that says trick or treat on it. And what I really loved about this is the fact that if I wasn't really feeling the trick or treat vibe, like if Halloween is over and I don't really want it to say trick or treat, you can just easily turn it around and it's just a plain black cauldron cookie jar. I uh, love a multi-purpose piece. Next up from Home Goods, I got these LED candles. It was actually an LED candle set, so they came together. I saw these very, very recently, and I hadn't seen a lot of LED candles that they had put out, so I was so excited to come across these. Um, it is this white, waxy feeling candle with these black spiders and stars and spider webs and it's just such a cool design in my opinion this is just a great all year round decor for me and then it's just an led candle love these spooky candles these led candles with the spiders love them last things i got from home goods and literally the last things these are like the last things that i saw there that i picked up i finally found some halloween candles I hadn't seen like not just the LED candles, but actual candles, like jar candles. I got this DW Home candle and it is this, it's called Spooky and it has a little jack-o'-lantern on it and it has this orange glitter everywhere. And actually one of you, I think on Instagram, I asked you guys what your favorite scented candles were and some of you said DW Home and I had never really heard of them but I really don't look at candles a lot at Home Goods, and I should more because I love these candles now that I found them. Um, these DW Home and this spooky scent. Oh gosh, it smells so good. It smells like pumpkin. Oh, it's a perfect, perfect pumpkin spice. Just perfect. Oh, it's so good. Also from Home Goods, I got another DW candle, a uh, Halloween candle, and this one is called Ghost. And it once again has all this glitter, but this glitter is like this iridescent glitter, like color changing iridescent pretty glitter. And this one smells really sweet. It's kind of vanilla-ish. It's definitely vanilla-ish. It's a, like a cupcake, vanilla cupcake kind of smell. It smells really, really good though. These candles smell delicious. There's something really great about them, like very balanced about them, where the sweetness isn't overwhelming. All right, so the last candle I got from Home Goods, 
This one is so cool looking. I love this. I'm gonna have to use this container for something after I burn it. This is another DW Home Candle. This one is called Bourbon Pumpkin. The scent is really good, but what I love so much about this is the container it's in. It is this glass jar with this cameo. It's like a skeleton cameo little print on it. It is so cute. I love this. Mmm, it smells so good. It has that, but it smells like bourbon pumpkin. But I just love this gothic vibe to this candle. I love it. So excited I found this. All right, moving on to Michaels. We're gonna move on to Michaels. The first thing I got from Michaels, let's, is this magical cat sign or wall decor. There's this tin wall decor and it says the magic begins. It has all these cats dancing around a fire under a full moon with this creepy looking face. It says October 31st. It says midnight moonlight and magic this Halloween. I just love the colors of this. I love the whole vibe of it. The vintage look. It's also kind of creepy and occultish looking, but I love everything about this sign. Next thing I got from Michaels, I got these stacked jack-o'-lantern little statue, vintage statue looking things. First of all, I had, of course, my jack-o'-lantern mantle theme in mind when I got these. I was really excited to see these this year. And they also fixed the problem where last year they wobbled all over the place. This year the bottom is definitely flatter so they will stand up on their own, which I'm really excited about. And I got two of them because I kind of wanted to put both of them as the main event on my mantle, but we'll see how it goes. Gotta play around with it a little bit. Next up from Michaels, I got this spooky house. I love the spooky houses at Michael's. I want to live here. I'm not going to lie. It is this gray spooky house with these little, it's like an orange door. And then it has these ghosts coming out of the house and a bat up above the door and some jack-o'-lanterns over here and a tombstone over here. I am all about this and I just want to live here. I want to be this ghost. And I think I was even able to snag this on sale, so that's a bonus. Next up from Michaels, I don't know what my deal was this year, but apparently I had a thing for all these guys with the dangly legs. <laughs> I don't know, I just was really into the dangly legs, let me just tell ya. All right, so the first dangly leg guy I got was this uh, black and white, creepy, that face is real creepy, pumpkin head clown person and uh that's the best way to describe it these little beaded dangly legs other ones i got are these vintage looking uh suspender wearing oh wait no maybe it's just the cat wearing suspenders but they're these vintage looking top hat wearing little dangly leg guys once again uh this one here has the jack-o'-lantern face and is holding a cat head on a stick but is also a skeleton <laughs> It's a lot going on here. And then this one is one of those kind of scaredy cat vibes with a ghost on a stick. And once again, a skeleton, but with suspenders. I don't know what it is about these things, but I kind of like them. They're kind of creepy and I love it. Next up from Michaels, I got this crow that's perched up on this branch with all of these pretty plum colored roses. This is such a pretty piece. I am so in love with it. It's kind of got this Edgar Allan Poe gothic vibe. And I actually want to put this in my bedroom with the whole Edgar Allan Poe quilt and bed set and have this on my nightstand. And then after Halloween, I really want to decorate with this all year round, maybe put it on my mantle. All right, next up from Michaels, I got this bat wing bowl, but it's in the shape of two bat wings that are kind of coming together. Once again, I love this for an all year round type of gothic thick dark aesthetic piece so this will be out during Halloween but it will also be out probably on my coffee table somewhere also from Michaels I got a couple of these little vintage trinkets um, these little figurines I thought these were so cute I got this little cat he's holding a little jack-o'-lantern bucket and a little crow and then this other one is a little pumpkin head gal who's also wearing a little witch hat but it's also kind of like a clown hat and has a little broom and a black cat. She's more of a witchy type. 
type. This is the kind of thing that I'll have out with some of my carolers and just like my little trinket area. Love these little guys for that kind of thing. Also from Michaels, I got some LED candlesticks. I feel like you can never have enough of these. Plus, I got a new little candelabra thing from Home Goods, the gothic looking one with the skulls. Um, so I got these for that. These black glittery LED candlesticks. I also got the black and white striped candlesticks. So I was wanting to use these for my Beetlejuice little candlestick holder with a sandworm. That's my plan for these. And I got them like 40% off. I was so excited about it. Love these. Also from Michaels, I saw this little Happy Halloween felt sign. It's like a little banner, that's what it is. It says Happy Halloween and it has these little cute like jack-o'-lanterns and bats and things. You can see one of the jack-o'-lanterns right there. So I got a new little Happy Halloween banner for my mantle. All right, last thing I got from Michaels is this cute little vintage looking jack-o'-lantern situation with a ghost popping out of it holding a candy corn. That whole thing in one is like my Halloween dream come true. Once again, it's kind of one of those little trinkets for my little trinket area where I put my carolers and other little Halloween cutesy things. Anyways, love this. All right, so let's move on to Joann's because we're cruising to Joann's. <laughs> We've been Halloween decor hunting, then you know we're cruising to Joann's. Anyways, all right, I'm so excited because Joann's was so good this year. All right, the first thing I got from Joann's, I am so excited for this all year round type of decor. It is this plaque, this black plaque with this gold snake, metallic snake, it's kinda all bunched up but also coming up over the plaque. It is just the most magical, gothic, all year round type of vibe. I am so excited for this. This is one of the first things I saw there and snatched it right up. So the next thing I got from Joann's is this purple decanter. This is such a pretty decanter. I am kicking myself for not buying more of these because these are so good. This is the only one I ended up getting. This is so pretty. It's just a purple intricate looking decanter. Uh, and then it has a really pretty little stopper situation that's almost like um it's kind of like a champagne color and then it has this little charm dangling from it that's the snake it is so beautiful once again a really great all year round type of piece next up from joann's i got these super cute spooky napkins for my little bar area it has everything i love in a spooky print it has a spooky house a witch hat another spooky house this skull with a witch hat on, a black cat, a pumpkin, some branches. Love this whole little print. Next up from Joann's, got this black skull ceramic plate. It's just a black skull. I think it's great for all year round and we're gonna do spooky kitchen all year round. It's not just a Halloween thing. So I figured it'd be the perfect addition to the spooky kitchen. All right, last but not least from Joann's, I got this little wall decor. It is this circular wall decor with this like wood paneling on it. <laughs> and it has this whole, this is the whole reason I got it. Cause if you know, then you know that I'm obsessed with a spooky scenery, especially if it includes a spooky house and or a witch flying on a broom and this is but this also also has a spooky tree and bats and so it is just a whole spooky little landscape situation and i love everything about it so next up i got a couple of things from walmart not a lot because i haven't seen all of walmart yet but i did see a couple things and i got a couple of things the first thing i got from walmart is this blanket and i am so excited about this blanket it is this spooky blanket that has a little spooky tree on it bats tombstones as a crescent moon a witch flying on a broom and it says this is the best part i'm 100 percent that witch all of the things i love i am so excited about this blanket and to finally bust it out because it just got really cold out all right the next thing i got from walmart is this really cool kind of cute but also kind of creepy vintage looking wall decor it is this 
pumpkin head clown witch uh, under a full moon and branchy situation and it says happy Halloween and the Halloween's a little cut off but I forgave it because this is such a cool little creepy kind of vintage vibe. Anyways, this whole vintage vibe just really got me. Really love it. Also from Walmart, I found a couple of spooky mugs. First of all, I saw this cauldron mug. It's just a matte black cauldron mug with an orange inside and this ceramic spider in there. It almost looks like it could be a tick. <laughs> also at Walmart, I found this scaredy cat looking mug. I love this and have not seen anything else like this. It's a scaredy cat mug with a scaredy cat kind of vintage looking face, but I love the scaredy cat look and the vintage vibe of this. I have not seen a mug like this, so I'm really excited to add this to my spooky mug collection. Also from Walmart, the one area I did see there that was fully stocked was this whole like plastic bowl dishware area and they had a full oil slick looking collection. They had these bowls that are these kind of oil slick looking iridescent bowls with these spider legs on it. So the bowl is basically the body of the spider and then it has legs that kind of make it stand up. And I love this. I think I'm just gonna use this as a candy bowl because I just love everything about the little spider legs. All right, last but not least from Walmart, I got a bunch of the Halloween floral, just mainly these red roses because I thought these would be perfect for my Dracula table because they are these really dimensional looking red roses. They have this red and they kind of fade to a dark reddish black looking color. And then the stems and the leaves on these, they're all black. So I thought that these were perfect for my Dracula table. I thought these could also be really good for all year round for just a little gothic little floral arrangement it would be really pretty. So last but not least, I went to Ross and I didn't see a whole lot at Ross and maybe I just need to go back and see if they added anything else. But they did have little small amounts of things here and there and I saw this and knew I had to get it. I got this spooky house landscape scenery situation which we just had a whole 500 minute long conversation about spooky sceneries and landscapes. But this pillow is kind of like one of those long pillows that has a whole spooky scenery with the spooky house uh, that I wish I could live in. And then in the background, there's this like really cool uh, white and gray jack-o'-lantern, well, jack-o'-lantern print. And I love this and I've been looking for some new Halloween pillows this year. And I'm really excited about all the spooky pillows I got this year. I really found some good ones, I feel like. Anyways, that is it. We're done, officially done with the Halloween decor hauls. So next up, we are decorating for Halloween. I am so excited, I cannot wait to decorate. I've been wanting to decorate for weeks, but was just waiting to get everything all collected up and to see everything out in stores. So we are ready and I'm so excited. I hope you're excited. Um, anyways, that is it for my Halloween decor hauls for 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you could give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. If you wanna let me know your favorite piece that you saw in this haul, you can down in the comments or if you just wanna talk about whatever spooky things you wanna talk about in the comments, that's great too. Uh, or tell me any themes that you have going on in your house this year if you're decorating for Halloween. Uh, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.